Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we will look at problem 437 from the leak code. So the subject of this problem is path sum 3. So this is the third iteration in our path sum series. So let's look at this problem. Here is the problem statement and pause this video for a second. Try to come up with your own solution before we look at my solution together. So this problem is similar to the previous one that we have seen. I think the title of that problem was path sum 2. So that's the second iteration in path sum series where you have to count, where you have to list how many paths starting from the roof node all the way to the leaf node. Like you have to find the valid path that sums to say target sum, whatever that is. Um, so this problem is sim slightly similar to that, but we also have a case where if you look at this problem, this example, we have this 5, 3. Notice that this 5 is not the root node. It doesn't start from here. So And then the 3 is not the leaf node. So in this problem, that's the one, that is the one thing that, that makes this problem a little bit complicated because we have to take that into account where the starting node is not necessarily the roof node and then the ending node is not necessarily the leaf node. Well, so let's see how we can handle that case. So case one, so the first case is when we have say our starting node is the roof node and then the ending node is the leaf node. Then in that case, it's not too difficult. So I will skip this part because um, in, in the second case where I will talk about how to combine case one and case two. So case two is this part. Say we have, like I'll be using this example and our target sum is 22. Now in this case, four, 11, and seven, when you add these three numbers, they add up add to 22. So this is the belly path. So we will have four, 11, seven, right? And say, suppose we are at here node 7 then how do we check that you know we have a path
So count of zero is equal to one. In that case, we will handle this case where first node is exactly equal to target sum, and then and then the rest is you know basically similar to the one that we have seen before. You know, path sum two, path sum one. So if not node, we return zero, meaning that if the node is you know none or null, then we return zero. Otherwise, we update our current sum, and then we check if current sum minus target sum is in our dictionary. If it is, then we have to append, we have to, you know, increment our answer variable by this much by how many times we have seen current sum minus target sum so far. And one thing I am I want to mention is that you have to initialize answer variable here equal to zero otherwise this doesn't make sense because you know here we have a um, reference to answer but then answer is not defined so set answer equal to zero and we update our you know we have to update our count dictionary for this current sum key and we increment it by one and we run you know dfs for its left child and then the right child and we add them up and we and whatever value we get from these two function we add that to our answer variable and then once we done this we have to sub we have to decrement our frequency for this current sum right say if we are at here if we are at say you know so dfs of seven and current sum will be whatever number that is so when we are at here we will be running you know dfs node dot left which is empty so that will give us zero dfs of you know the no the right child for this guy will be you know another empty node so we return zero and so that will be zero plus zero plus whatever answer value we have so far and then we have to backtrack right we have to go up in that case we have to you know so so far we will be our current sum will be 22, 4, 11, 7. So some of those four numbers. But then when we backtrack, when we go up here, we have to... So this sum of these four numbers will not be in our dictionary anymore. So we have to subtract that by 1. So count of current sum, and we have to decrement this by 1. Because when we backtrack, we no, we no longer consider this case anymore, right? So we will be looking at this guy and then so that's why that's something that you have to keep in mind that this part is also important and then we return answer so that's this function and let's look at the code so here is the code for this problem and let's run this together okay so that's for this problem and for the next video i will talk about you know path sum four so this problem is the last problem in this series and I will see you next time. So if my video helps you guys um, solving this problem or solving this type of problem, please give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.